Hello, my name is Paul Morrison from ISO Acoustics. Today we'll be looking at the V120 isolation mount. The V120 is a ceiling and wall mount that is designed for studio monitors that weigh up to 40 pounds. It features a unique low profile isolation module that offers the acoustic isolation performance that ISO Acoustics award winning products have been known for. And it provides 360 degrees of horizontal rotation as well as 90 degrees of vertical tilt adjustment. In this video, we'll break the installation into two sections. The first section is how to attach the V120 to the ceiling or supporting structure. The V120 can be mounted in a variety of ways, including ceiling mount, wall mount, it can connect to truss systems, unistrut, and can adapt to third party mounts using a keyhole adapter. We will cover all of this in the first section of the video. The second section explains how to connect the studio monitor to the V120 mount. Depending on the model, the studio monitor can either be attached to the V120 bottom flange or the bottom flange can be removed and a sliding bracket can be used to provide a connection to the studio monitor. This is all covered in the second section of the video. As you can probably tell, there are a variety of brackets and adapters available for the V120. The ISO Acoustics online product selector application provides an easy reference to determine which brackets and adapters are required for your model of studio monitor and your type of installation. The online product selector can be found on the ISO Acoustics website and a link is available in the video description below. So let's get started with section 1, how to mount the V120 mount starting with ceiling mount. The V120 comes with a ceiling plate that can be directly fastened to the ceiling or other flat surfaces. The first step is to remove the ceiling plate from the V120 mount. Hold the ceiling plate against the ceiling in its final position and mark the four holes with a pencil. Note that fasteners are not included because the type of fastening should be properly selected for the type of ceiling. Ensure that the fasteners and anchors are rated to support the combined weight of the V120 mount and studio monitor. Follow the directions included with the fasteners and anchors to drill your marked holes and fasten the ceiling plate to the ceiling. Then install the V120 isolator into the installed ceiling plate and secure the connection with the tightening arm. The second mounting option is the wall mount. The wall mount is sold separately. The first step is to determine the location for installing the V120 wall bracket. Only install on walls that are suitable to support the combined weight of the wall bracket, V120 mount, and the studio monitor. Move the wall bracket into position and mark the fastener location with a pencil. Fasteners are not included with the wall bracket. Follow the instructions provided by the fastener or anchor manufacturer to drill the anchor holes in the marked locations and then fasten the wall bracket to the wall. Remove the ceiling plate from the V120 isolator and install the V120 isolator into one of the three threaded inserts in the wall mount bracket and then secure the connection with the tightening arm. The third option is the truss mount. Truss clamps are required to connect the V120 to the truss. ISO Acoustics has truss clamps available for one and a half inch and two inch diameter truss. Remove the ceiling plate from the V120 and attach the truss clamp to the V120 thread using the M10 nut. Third party truss clamps can be used as long as they can connect to the M10 1.5 thread from the V120 mount. Mount the assembly to the truss by wrapping the truss clamp over the tube and securing it by tightening the wing nut. The fourth option is using a unistrut channel. Install a unistrut channel M10 nut in the unistrut and position it in the final location for the speaker. With the ceiling plate removed, the M10 thread will install into the unistrut channel, but first a large washer is required to go between the unistrut and the V120. The washer should be the same width or wider than the unistrut. Position the large washer on the V120 M10 thread and install the V120 into the unistrut channel nut. Secure the connection with the tightening arm. The final option is mounting the third party hardware, including Atom Audio and Neumann mounting systems using the keyhole adapter. 
First, install the third-party mounting system in place. Remove the V120 sealing plate and install the keyhole adapter on the M10 thread. Then, install the keyhole adapter and V120 mount on the third-party mounting system. Great work! Now that you've installed the V120 to your mounting option of choice, let's take a look at our second step. How to install the studio monitor to your V120. First, identify the location of the mounting threads of your studio monitor, whether they're on the back of the monitor or on the sides. If the mounting threads are on the back, you can use either the L bracket or the C bracket. Your choice between the L bracket and C bracket depends on the tilt angle that you require for your setup. The L bracket positions the studio monitor facing horizontally and can be tilted down by up to 45 degrees. The C bracket positions studio monitors to be facing downwards and can tilt upwards up to 45 degrees. The L or C bracket can install directly on the back of the studio monitor or an adapter can be used depending on the locations of the threaded inserts. To determine which adapters require, try the Isoacoustics product selector application or measure the location of the threaded inserts on your studio monitor and compare them with the V120 adapters listed on our website. The V120 is not compatible with all studio monitors. The studio monitor must have threaded inserts and their location must match one of the Isoacoustics adapters. If an adapter is required for your studio monitor, then the first step is to mount the appropriate adapter for your studio monitor to the L or C bracket tilt adjuster using the black M6 hex bolt, lock washers, and M6 nut. This hardware is included with the adapters. If you're using the L bracket, the larger side of the tilt adjuster should be positioned closer to the top of the speaker. If you're using the C bracket, the larger side of the tilt adjuster should be positioned closer to the bottom of the speaker. Next, fasten the adapter to the threads on the back of the studio monitor using the silver bolts and lock washers included with the adapter. Bolts might need to be purchased separately if a different size or length is required. If an adapter is not required for your studio monitor, then the tilt adjuster can be fastened directly to the back of your studio monitor. The next step is to mount the tilt adjuster to the L bracket or C bracket. To attach the C bracket, line up the holes in the C bracket with the holes in the tilt adjuster. The hole located at the end of the C bracket should line up with the smaller round hole in the tilt adjuster. Use the M6 flanged hex bolt with the M6 flanged nylon nut through the lower round hole in the tilt adjuster. Use the M6 flanged hex bolt with the two M6 washers and an M6 nylon nut on the slotted hole in the tilt adjuster. Tighten them using a 10 millimeter wrench or use the wrenches included with the C bracket. Connecting the L bracket is similar to the C bracket, except the L bracket can be configured in different ways depending on distance of the threads to the top of the monitor and the tilt angle of the monitors. Choose between the short tube and long tube based on the hole location of the back of the studio monitor. Install the tilt adjuster on the short tube or long tube. The tilt adjuster should be installed on the side of the tube that has the holes positioned closest to that side. The hole located at the end of the tube should line up with the smaller round hole in the tilt adjuster. Use the M6 flanged hex bolt with the M6 flanged nylon nut through the lower round hole in the tilt adjuster. Use the M6 flanged hex bolt with the two M6 washers and an M6 nylon nut on the slotted hole in the tilt adjuster. Tighten them using a 10 millimeter wrench or use the wrenches included with the L bracket. Next, slide the tube with the tilt adjuster in the T-tube with the smaller end of the T-tube facing up. These parts can be configured in one of three different ways, depending on the length that is required. Align the holes and install the M6 flange bolt and M6 flange nylon nut through two of the holes in the tubes. The next step is to mount the L bracket or C bracket with your studio monitor to the V120 mount. First, remove the bottom circular flange from the V120 mount using the Allen key included. Then, 
loosen the locking screw located on the side of the V120 mount using the Allen key and remove both caps from the V120 mount. Slide in the mounting bracket with the studio monitor into the V120 mount. Adjust the position of the slide so that the weight of the studio monitor is properly balanced underneath the V120 mount and then tighten the locking screw. To rotate the studio monitor, loosen the tightening arm, then rotate the studio monitor into the correct position, then use the tightening arm to lock it in place. To tilt the studio monitor, make sure the monitor is supported while using the 10 millimeter wrenches and carefully loosen both nuts and bolts on the tilt adjuster. Adjust the tilt angle of the monitor and then tighten the nuts and bolts. Adjust the position of the slide in the mounting bracket so that the weight of the monitor is balanced underneath the V120 mount. If the mounting threads are located on each side of the studio monitor, then a U-bracket is often available for that monitor from the manufacturer. This U-bracket can be installed on the lower circular flange of the V120 using the U-bracket adapter. We recommend first checking that the hole pattern on the top of the U-bracket matches with the V120 U-bracket adapter. First, install the U-bracket adapter to the bottom of the V120 circular flange using the M6 socket head screws and M6 lock washer. Tighten the screws using the 5mm Allen key included with the V120 mount. Loosen the set screw located on each side of the U-bracket adapter using the small Allen key and remove the U-bracket adapter insert from the U-bracket. Install the insert to the top of the U-bracket using the M8 hex head screws and M8 lock washers. Follow the instructions included with the U-bracket to attach the U-bracket to the studio monitor. With the V120 in its final mounting position, slide in the U-bracket adapter insert into the U-bracket and lock it in place by tightening both set screws using the small Allen key. Follow the instructions included with the V120 mount to rotate and tilt the studio monitor to focus them correctly to the listening position. To rotate the studio monitor, loosen the tightening arm, then rotate the monitor into the correct position and use the tightening arm to lock it in place. To tilt the monitor, loosen the fasteners on the sides of your monitors that are attaching the U-bracket to the V120 mount. Adjust the tilt angle of the monitors and then tighten the fasteners. And that summarizes the installation options for the V120 mount. In the first section, we covered how to install the V120 mount to the ceiling or supporting structure. Then in the second section, we covered the different ways that studio monitors can be mounted to the V120 mount. Remember to try our product selector to find out if your studio monitor is compatible and what brackets and adapters it will require. If you have any further questions, please contact your local dealer or email us at info at isoacoustics.com. Thanks for watching.